So it's no longer news that Finito Georgia is the coach of the Super Eagles. Yesterday, Finito was unveiled at the Moshu Abiola National Stadium in Abuja by the Nigerian Football Federation President, talking about Alaji Ibrahim Gusau and the Honorable Minister of Sports, John Ewa Eno. Now, the question many Nigerians are asking is why the choice of his assistant coaches. Now, Finiti has said he will come with three foreign assistants or based outside of Nigeria, one analyst, one assistant coach, and of course, uh, one fitness trainer. Omo Super Eagles players go get six pass. You don't see that, that fitness trainer, the guy who, well, uh, However, let's talk about the choice of the indigenous coaches back home here as assistant coach. Now, Olatunji Barua has been with the national team for a while as goalkeeper trainer. And of course, if you look at what Wabali did, you cannot really question why Olatunji Barua is retained. However, Daniel Amakachi. Now, Dan Dibul Amakachi is a, a former player and teammate of Finidi George, a former coach of the Super Eagles and interim basis, and former assistant to the likes of um, Shwaibu Amadu and Stephen Keshi. Now, Amakachi will be saddled with the responsibility to think and join Ed with Finidi to lead Nigeria to the World Cup and, of course, qualify and win the World Cup, the Nations Cup, I beg your pardon, for Nigeria in Morocco next year. Two games gone in the World Cup qualifier, the Super Eagles have only managed two draws. I looked at it and said, why Daniel Amakachi, of all the plethora of coaches we have in the MPFL, who are very young, would I, that can't work with Finidi George? And I asked, this question. But before we go to the question, this now football temple brought to you by Aza Studios. Click this like and share button, and of course, continue to subscribe and watch our videos on YouTube and follow us on all social media handle. So while we are the unveiling yesterday of Affinity, we asked the Super Eagles team coordinator, who also who is also the Bauchi State FA chairman, talking about Patrick Pascal, an ex-international himself, what he thinks about the choice of Fini of um, Daniel Omakachi as an assistant coach to Fini the George. Now watch this interview clearly. And after watching this interview, we'll come back. But Daniel always is on air, analyzing football here and there. So if you are not uh, in the business, you can't just go to the studio and be talking about footballers there. And then uh, we are talking about Nation Cup, Daniel is there. And Daniel is always everywhere if you talk about football. So, you know, most of these players are professional uh, uh, players. So I don't think he has any kind of problem with that. You know, he will deliver. And then the most important thing is the head coach. If the head coach is doing well, the other ones to advise him, then we go. Did you hear what he said? <laughs> Amakati has been on air. <laughs> Amakati talks about football every day. <laughs> what am I doing, I'm on air. Hello, Finidi. <laughs> Finito Alpha, I've been on L. You feel also raising myself as um, assistant coach. But that's it. For me, 2017 was the last time he worked. 2024 is where we are. Seven years. He obtained a coaching license last year for CAF A license, which is good. But do you think Daniel Omakachi has done enough in the last seven years as a coach to be able to tinker and work with Finidi as the coach? Of, as the assistant coach, rather, of the Super Eagles. Or should the NFF and Finidi George, because we understand Finidi was allowed to pick his assistant at free will. Do you think Finidi George is not towing the wrong direction? Let's hear from you. Leave a comment uh, under our comment section. And of course, uh, let's hear from you. Feedbacks on Dana Mogakachi as an assistant coach to Finidi George. Remember, Football Temple brought to you by Azar Studios. Ustaz! is signing out. Peace.